hello welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is louise uh, my channel is a haul most saturdays and i try to upload something during the week depends on the week and what's going on um there is no set schedule to those ones um there's there's no set theme to those it's literally whatever's going on in my life at the time um and if i feel like it's video worthy i guess so if you enjoy that type of thing and you want to subscribe there's a subscribe down there a subscribe button down there somewhere if you enjoy today's if you enjoy today's video you can like and comment my words are not coming out very well as per usual um it's actually recorded this well, sort of recorded this three times we're having a whole lot of technical issues my my camera's having some issues with me today so um I don't know how this video is going to come out depending on what that thing keeps doing because it lets me get away through it before it decides to mess up so sorry not you the camera <laughs> so um I worked with a 60 pound budget went to Iceland and Asda I've got the receipts that's what I'm looking at just in case you didn't know Iceland as the £60 budget, didn't hit budget again, um, if you've been here for a while you'll know that I've done some stocking up, so things like slabs of cheese and stuff I don't need, I can't honestly, that's the only thing I can remember that I've stocked up on, I know I've stocked up on other things but just can't remember what they are, so um, this haul will be just what I needed to get this week or wanted to get this week, um, you know I have a freezer full of vegetables and there's lots of random stuff in the freezer, I've got a lot of tins, um, I've still got a few salad -y bits left i've actually the broccoli's still good from the other week we only used about half of that so i've only really bought the things that like i said i needed to get so um actually spent 26.67 in asda and 11.35 in iceland so if i will give you prices as we go along so if you want were to add it up you would come to a different number the reason being i always donate three items to the food bank there's no reason for it being three it's just three just randomly um and i do that because did I say Iceland or Asda? Asda is the shop I do it in. Um, and the reason I do it in Asda is because they have the food bank basket there so I can just buy it and put it straight in. If that do, if they don't have that, then I tend not to do it because I end up bringing it home and it's just going to sit around the, the house for weeks. You know, it's one of them things you just forget to pick up all the time. So, um, there's, it, it's always different foods as well. This week I donated... Um, can't remember. Oh, there was a bar of chocolate. And bought just a plain bar of milk chocolate, a uh, tin of beans, what was the third thing? Oh, a shower gel. Uh, there would have been a, a cut thingy there, that took me an awful long time to find out there was a shower gel. So shower gel, bar of chocolate and a tin of beans. Um, they're all donated so you, they're not in this. I'll give you prices as we go along. The shop was fine, there was no gaps in any products or anything along those lines. Um, yeah, let's get on with the haul. Right, so we always start with whatever fresh I've got. I'm the only one who really eats the fresh that often. Corey doesn't really eat it much. It's more just me. Uh, so we don't really get an awful lot of it anyway. Uh, but I'm really into salads at the moment. I've uh, got a little tiny bit of this left, but not much. I don't know what's happened with my camera. I'm having to hold it right back. It's having issues today. So I just got an iceberg lettuce. This is just the lettuce I prefer. And it's, it's not as expensive as the other ones, even though it's going up there now. So this is actually 70p now. Uh, tomatoes because I'm a bit of a tomato freak I do like them an awful lot and these are actually 85p now and the cucumber I always buy a cucumber um, I have started eating the cucumber as is which is weird for me because as you as you know if you've been here for a while I'm always saying that I pickle this and I did but I was having it with salad as is as well so I'm branching out and not having everything pickled um so just if you don't know if you slice this and put this in, in vinegar it pickles literally overnight it's ready to go the following day it's not like a lot of those vegetables that you have to wait for an awful long time and the cucumber is actually 79p so it's, yeah these prices are going up now aren't they um I got a large thing of potatoes now I did pay the extra so you can get 2.5 kilogram for one pound 25 i believe it is it's actually been a little while since i bought that one uh, but i paid this for this one was one pound 80 because i specifically wanted it for baked potatoes i've been eating a baked potato every day and um i was working out the prices and the sizes and stuff and this actually 
this is more what I needed rather than the other one. So uh, paid a little bit more, but I mean, they, look at the size of that. I'm not gonna be able to get through a whole one of them. It's a little bit much. I do like quite a large salad, um, but yeah, that'll do like two potatoes. See, now I'm thinking I should've got the cheaper one. We're too late now anyway. <laughs> so now here, the first time this has happened for the longest time, four pint semi-skim milk. This is what I buy most weeks. It's one pound 55. That means it's a 10p reduction. When was the last time we heard of a reduction on something? 10p cheaper. I'm sure there'll be some reason that you all know about that I won't because I don't watch the news or read newspapers or anything along those lines. I try and stay out of the world as much as possible. Um, so I'm sure there'll be something you will be able to tell me in the comments about that. Because um, there usually is something, but it's gone down. I am so shocked. It's the first one for so long. Now I picked up some of these pickled peppers. Now I don't get through many of these that often. Um, if you've not had them, they're not. there's no heat to these. These are actually very, very nice. I wouldn't get them if there was heat to them. Uh, but like I said, I don't get through them very much and I didn't realize the last lot had actually gone bad. There was only a little bit in the bottom, so it wasn't like a huge waste. But these are really nice every now and again in uh, a salad. I mean, these are the ones you get in kebaberies. They They put these with the kebabs. But the one that Corey gets from this town, it's not a pickly one, it's, it's actually a hot one. Don't know what they've done with it, so that's when these, these actually come out. And these are £1.75, it's quite a big jar as well. Pickled cabbage is what I've been having with my salads a lot at the moment. And I just couldn't remember if I've got one in the cupboards. Would you like to have a spare most times of most things? I mean, I do forget because like, I didn't have a spare of those. Uh, so I don't actually know if I know if I've got a spare, uh, but I just thought I'd pick it up anyway. And this was one pound thirty-five, so that's actually not too bad when you think about it. With with the prices of things, that's not too bad. Two tins of beans, twenty-seven p for these ones. Uh, these are the cheapest ones. They are very very nice. That's the reason that I get these ones, as I've mentioned before. I do randomly on things get cheaper versions and. I've been impressed with a lot of them. I'm not going to go to the more expensive if these ones are good. Now, I used to not get these because the ratio of beans to juices were very, very bad. You'd get an awful lot of juice, but it's not like that now. It's a proper full tin of beans for 27p, and they're really, really good tasting. So I highly recommend those. Another coleslaw, because as you know, I've been getting through about a punny of this a week. Uh, 45p for this, and it's a really, really nice one. Again, it's the cheapest one you can get, but it's really, really good. And I bought the mac and cheese for Corey last week. I bought this one. Now we usually get the boxed one. We prefer the boxed one. It's, it's a nicer taste, but they didn't have it. So I thought I'd pick this up as a backup just so it's in the cupboard. He did try it. It's, it was fine. It's, it takes longer to cook. It's a bit more of a pain in the ass than the other one. The other one, you just cook the pasta and add the, the, um, the milk and the, the powder and just mix in. It's done. This one, you've actually could keep it on the hob and put milk in it. And it's, it's just a little bit more faff. It's 60p for this one. Uh, so it is, it is cheaper. Um, it's edible. It's fine. That's why I got another one. He said it was good. Um, but not as good as the box one, obviously. But they still don't have it. This one's 60p. And then I saw this. Uh, cheese and broccoli pasta. This one's actually 40p. And I just thought, I don't know. I just thought that that would go nice as a meal half of one of those with a salad i've got some broccoli in the, the fridge as well so I, I just yeah i don't know I, I don't know if i've tried this or not but for we pay this quite a good price so that's why i bought that one now we don't actually need the crisps um because they are things that i've stocked up on but i do worry that they're not going to have them in so i have, i'm still picking them up uh you get 24 pack this is actually works out pack for pack price the same as Aldi now. It, the Aldi pack is got 30 in it and it's more expensive, but when you work out how many packs in and you know, divide it and everything, it's about the same. So uh, 24 pack, six prawn co cocktail, six cheese and onions, six all vinegar, six ready salted, three pound 35 for that. Um, and they're good. They're just the same. Aldi and Asda, pretty good, both of them. So I do like to have crisps in the house. Um, I've actually wanted some of these for a while. Now these are the, the zip seal bags and they were a really decent size uh, the box i've got is actually an 80 pack and i don't know how long they haven't done for because they last that long you know that i i didn't realize they haven't got them anymore i have been keeping an eye on these um but because you pay a little bit more i mean this was two pounds no that's not that's a pizza how much is this 275 for 30 this is medium they're quite big um 
I don't know, just knowing it was £2 something, I've been not buying it for a while. We're not desperate for them yet, but, you know, I haven't been hitting budget, so I just thought, oh, stop doing that, Louise. Like, you need to actually get them uh, before they go up in price as well. So £2.75, but these are the Ziploc ones, and we use them for, like, kit storing the cheese in or whatever, and you can, you can reuse these as well. You can get a few uses out of them, so they actually do work out, I think, financially a little bit better if you're going to buy bags anyway. And these are actually on a deal this week. Um, I think they're £2.60. I think this is not 100%. But they're down to £2 at the moment. I bought these for the first time a few weeks ago. And they are so, so good. I've been really, really good with them as well. And I looked at what the serving size was. And I measured it out into a little pot. We have these little pots. So I put them straight in there so I didn't sit with the bag and just eat the lot. Because it's not a very big bag. But I'm very aware of nuts having like high calories and high oils or whatever it is i don't know what it is but i've always just been uncomfortable when it comes to nuts because because you could just easily eat that couldn't you um so yeah been really good about that and they're just heaven they're so so good i just oh <laughs> i don't know how else to explain that if you've not tried them and you're a mom you have to be a marmite fan and a cashew fan but they just oh they go so well together a uh, packet of biscuits, Corey's just eating the ones that we got from Aldi, they are cheaper in Aldi, they're 20p cheaper, they're 65 in Aldi, 85 in Anstar, but I can't get to Aldi so easily so I just picked up a packet of those. <clears throat> and I got those mini cheddars the other uh, week from, oh where was it, Farm Foods, a few weeks ago now wasn't it? And they were like 59p for pizza ones and they were really good. Um, I would definitely recommend getting the pizza ones again, especially at 59p. But like I said, a lot of shops I can't get to. Farm Foods, again, is one that I, I need to get a lift to these places to stock up. Uh, these were actually only a pound, which isn't that bad for the mini cheddars. I think they go a way, way more expensive. And this is the cheddar and smoked paprika. I am a paprika fan anyway. You get six bags for a pound. And I just thought, well, the other ones were so good. I've got to give these ones a go. And whilst they were on the deal, even better... Uh, Corey, always get pizzas for Corey. They actually didn't have many pizzas in. I don't know whether they're downgrading their, their range in Asda or if it's just something else is going on. I'm not sure. It's been a whole pizza thing going on in at the moment. Um, he's had this one before. We know it's good. He's already eaten it this morning. Um, as you know, if you've not been here, like if you, you are new here, I do shop the day before I haul. So that's the reason that it's gone already. Um, £2.60, barbecue chicken, stuffed crust one. And I've had some of this one. Just so I can let you know where it's any good. And I, it is. It's a very, very good one if you've not tried it. Uh, just wanted to get another pizza. And like I said, they didn't have the range of pizzas. So I, was, I looked in there for a while. And I just come up with these. So these are two mini ones. And I think they were one fifty. Let me see if I can find them. Yes. £1.50. Mega Meaty Chicago Town. Corey and I are huge fans of the Chicago Town. They are very, very good. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful where you put these, though, because if you do it wrong, they end up going hard. So you have to be very, very careful if you've not had these before. That was as that. Like I said, we didn't really need a lot, so um, didn't get it. I went into Iceland first. I went in to get chips specifically. There is no really good deals on any chips anywhere, particularly. They're all about the same. So I think this is this is a 1.5 kilogram for two pounds. It's just the French fry ones. I just wanted to get some so that we were in the the freezer. I didn't really know what ones to get. Um, Kiev's now Corey likes Kiev's, but he doesn't like the traditional one, which is the garlic and butter isn't it he's not a fan of that one but this is the nacho one he has had this one before i've tried this it's, it's very nice so you get like a nacho cheesy sauce in it and then it has uh they're called nachos aren't they tortilla chips on the outside like crunched up on the outside that's your coating very very nice one pound 85 actually is not a bad price for kiev's either um so yeah highly recommend those ones again i found these chiquitos they had quite a lot of uh, reduced things down to one pound fifty they I can't read all of it because they they always cover it up, don't they? Uh, chicken breast, Mexican style seasoning, and vegetable wrapped something tortillas. Just thought they looked good. They're mini ones, um, but I will probably have those with some salad, like a couple of like I don't know a few. I could probably get three meals out of that, you know. I just thought they looked good. One pound fifty. I uh, got the strips. Now, I got these the other, was it last week, I think? I got the barbecue strips. Corey says, not a fan. Uh, so, he asked for the southern fried this time. Now, these are actually 
500 gram for four pounds uh, it's not as good as the, the ones i would normally get i'd get the dippers from asda even though their price has gone up it's over five pounds for that bag now um he just prefers the, the strips and you can't get strips in asda so iceland's getting my uh, custom for that at the moment picked up another packet of these these are mini muffins and Corey just really enjoys them they're individually wrapped so they go in our pot and um yeah i just probably pick up one a week until he gets bored with them i guess and i've got the doorstep bread i've decided i've had a word with myself this is the last week i'm doing the doorstep bread i'm going to try and um i mean look can you see that that's one slice that's ridiculous that, that's a whole meal it is a bit much but i do enjoy it but i have realized it is it's a bit much it's making me a little bit too full um so this is it this is my last doorstep bread not forever just for a while i don't want to get, get like anybody come at me when i buy this again i'm gonna try and like, lay off the doorstep bread for a while because it's just too much it's a pound sorry just went on a whole bread thing there <laughs> it's a pound for that which actually is pretty standard now isn't it for most loaves of bread unless you're getting the really really cheap one but they're so paper thin they're just too thin so yeah that's bread so that was it i feel like that was pretty quick one i don't know if i explained it very well it didn't you know sometimes when you, you you're listening to yourself you think oh, okay i'm just standing like i'm talking a load of rubbish i mean i know i talk rubbish most of the time but that one just felt a little bit more rubbishy than usual um i need to stop doing that that's no I, i've talked beautifully that's what i'm supposed to say um so yeah i i did sorry i went on a bit of a tangent with the bread i just oh, bread is my thing i don't know if you can see that my eye keeps twitching and it's really um distracting me um yeah now i did i am talking rubbish now so i'm going to go um i'm not talking as much as as usual the words are just not in my brain at the moment they're floating around too much so um it's saturday uh what are we in april still may it's no may the week after my birthday's in may so that's the week after okay so nearly the end of may it's going quite quick isn't it anyway um yeah my mind's wandering i'm gonna say goodbye now because it's wandering in a strange way um i hope you're having a lovely saturday and um, sending out good vibes as i always do i hope you're catching some and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>